President Donald Trump just keeps spinning wildly out of control in his angry antagonism. This Wednesday outside the White House, he again slammed top adviser Kellyanne Conway's husband George, apparently fed up with his criticism of his administration. In an ever-growing number of high-profile instances, George has broken with his wife and lambasted the Trump team, including most recently via suggesting that Trump has narcissistic and antisocial personality disorders. That apparently deeply unnerves the president, who's now leading the national conversation a certain direction essentially because he's mad about what someone said about him on Twitter. Asked about his latest angry tweets about George, Trump told a reporter outside the White House. I don't know him. He's a whack job, there's no question about it, but I really don't know him. I think he's doing a tremendous disservice to a wonderful wife. Kellyanne is a wonderful woman, and I call him Mr. Kellyanne. The fact is that he's doing a tremendous disservice to a wife and family. Earlier Wednesday, he'd railed against George as a stone-cold loser and husband from hell who's just mad that Trump didn't give him the job he so desperately wanted, although to be clear, Conway rejected a job offer from the Trump administration for a role in the Justice Department with a publicly available letter in which he offered that early 2017 was not the right time for me to leave the private sector and take on a new role in the federal government as Assistant Attorney General for the DOJ's Civil Division. Trump has trotted out false claims that his opponents came begging to him for favors before in what's ultimately support for Conway's suggestion that he suffers from narcissistic personality disorder, which includes the symptom of being preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power and so on. That particular attack line is often sexist in nature, with the president having used it against figures ranging from Democratic presidential candidate and New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand to cable news host Mika Brzezinski. That doesn't even cover the question of why Mr. Kellyanne is supposed to be some kind of insult. George asserted that it's only a zinger among the extremely juvenile and boorish, quipping that what he really wouldn't want to be called is individual one. Trump's endless tirades serve as a handy distraction from the tangible issues he's facing, including the broad illegal hush money scheme targeting women with whom he had affairs in which he's been implicated as individual one. While Trump rages, investigations into those and related crimes continue. His continued raging just keeps proving George right. In recent days, he's completely made stuff up as part of a days-long campaign against former Senator John McCain, Republican Arizona, who passed away last year from brain cancer, claiming him to have shared allegations about Trump-slash-Russia collusion with the media before the election that he didn't even get until after the election and never leaked. That's hardly all. The hate tweets have flowed freely, like many to most other weekends from the president, and while he rails on the White House lawn like an angry schoolyard bully, he somehow wants us to take him seriously.